Sean, less than three days away from the Boston Marathon. Yeah. We got our bib. How are we feeling? Uh, first of all, I'm excited to have my bib there. Follow that one. It'll move very slowly during the race, I can assure you. It's kind of weird being here in Boston. You see all of these runners down here. You see people who are way skinnier than me wearing running <laughs> shoes, look like they're in great shape. But this is where it becomes kind of real for you because this has been kind of theoretical. But now I'm down here. I saw the finish line a couple of minutes ago. They're setting that up. And being here, the anxiety starts to ramp up a little bit. The butterflies start to kick in. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited about it. What would it mean to you to be able to not only run in the Boston Marathon, but finish it? So I grew up watching the Boston Marathon as a kid outside of Boston. So this is a big deal for me. I've never run the Boston Marathon. It's a first. Uh, it's a legendary race. This isn't just another marathon. It's the Boston Marathon. So it's going to mean a lot to me and my family too. They're excited to watch me. I mean, I was just about to say, like, how, how's the support been throughout this whole process? I can't say enough to the viewers out there, to my family, to everybody in New Hampshire who all along has been shouting at me, go Sean, who've been sending me comments, emails, you name it. I have, a, I have received so much support uh, through this process that I know it will carry me along even though my legs don't really want to run 26.2, but my heart is filled with all that support from New Hampshire and I think it's going to get me to the finish line. And hey, what's the best piece of advice you've gotten before running this race? Uh, well, I've had a bunch of people who said yeah, they've got great running advice for me, but I'd say the first one is don't rush it in the beginning. I guess the beginning of this race is a little bit downhill. You get a little excited. You tend to burn yourself out a little bit. So most people told me, take your time in the beginning, pace yourself. You're going to need all of that strength when you get to Heartbreak Hill, when you get to Beacon Street and Copley Square and so forth. So is your lucky number 29,085? <laughs> <laughs> right there. There it is, folks. Follow that number. It is my new lucky number. No right. doubt about it here. By the way, it goes up to only about 30,000. So it gives you an idea where I place, where I seed in this group. Not the top 10 exactly. All right. <laughs> hey, we're rooting for you, Sean. Yeah. Good hey, luck. Let me give you a quick debut. This is the jersey Ooh. right here. The Channel 9 jersey. So keep an eye out for that. That's on the course. the first of its kind. Yeah. You're seeing this for the first time.